We're back with another 2021 rookie profile. Is Shane Bouchelle a heat seeker? Watch and find out. It's Brad from Roto Heat and RookieDraftGuide.com. Welcome back. We're glad to see you. Hope you're doing well. We appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't already, drop a like, drop a subscription, hit the notification icon so you can stay up to date every time we drop any more of these player profiles or any of our live streams that are going throughout the weeks. Uh, we got a lot going on here, Road of Heat on YouTube and RookieDraftGuide.com. You watch any of these before, you know I ask a question. I want to keep this conversation going in the comments below. I'm going to make it easy on you. Is Shane Bouchelle draftable? Bouchelle's an interesting cat. You know, he came onto the scene as, as really a highly touted prospect. When you look at uh, like 247 and some of those places, you know, he was one of the top five dual threat options in the 2016 re recruiting class. Um, had offers from like Cal and Kansas and I think even like Kansas State before he chose Texas. And his freshman year really did a great job. I mean, as a, as a true freshman at Texas, you know, uh, completed 236 of 391 passes for 2,958 yards, 21 touchdowns, 11 picks, you know, 136 rating. Uh, was looking like the trajectory was in positive direction. Then after that, it all went to crap. I mean, 2017, 2018 at Texas just continued to go down and down and then transferred to SMU where he put up some of the best numbers of his career, you know, um, 2019 and 2020 saw him get over 3,000 passing yards each time, almost 4,000 in 2019. Uh, high completion percentage, you know, he was never below 60% completion percentage, but uh, in 2019 and 2020 saw him well above 60%, and he was really accurate. He did a good job making sure that that his guys were in the best position to be successful, you know, and if you look at, at purely a production standpoint and character traits of him, he's a guy that should at least get an opportunity to make an NFL roster. Uh, Dad's a former third baseman from uh, from baseball. You know, he's got that, that athlete lineage in him, um, but he doesn't appear to be a guy that's going to make a fantasy impact uh, unless he becomes a backup somewhere and gets thrust into action because of an injury. You know, it just seems like there's something missing. Uh, there are some some West Coast teams in the in the league that could use a kind of passer like Bouchelle. But based on what we saw coming out of college and what we saw, and, and this is a tough class. I mean, this is a, a deep class of quarterbacks that people are really hyped up on. I mean, look at look at the tea leaves right now. You're not hearing a lot of people talk about Shane Bouchelle. He's not getting a lot of love, even though he really didn't do anything to hurt himself in college. Um, he performed as best he could when given the opportunities. Uh, was able to move the ball down the field accurately, set his guys up for success, had a, a little bit of shiftiness to his game. Uh, it just, he's kind of run into a buzzsaw. This class is deep and he may have trouble getting an opportunity without um, landing as a, you know, a, a day three type player, maybe UDFA that gets on a roster because his work ethic and his, and his, uh, and his lineage. But I don't know, we'll see. That's why I said in the comments below, is he even somebody you're thinking about? All right, so this is the moment of truth. You're on the clock, it's late in your draft. You're getting the itch to stash a quarterback, hoping that he booms and returns you some huge value. Is Bouchelle that guy for you? When I look at our evaluators numbers, you know, and again, rookiedraftguide.com, you can see what I see. When I look through their notes and their evaluations, Probably not the guy. Um, and actually, interestingly enough, though, in this deep class, when I look at the overall uh, composite score from the rookie draft guy team, he's not far past the big names. I mean, uh, he comes just after Mac Jones in our guys' mind. It's kind of neck and neck with uh, with Newman as kind of that next guy up, that potential. Uh, and I, and I want to point out one. You know, um, we've got a lot of great guys on the team. I thought Joe's comments... Uh, were really interesting. I thought he did a good job kind of summing it up. Probably the best gunslinger in the class, has some questionable moments of decision-making and will overthrow a receiver, but has a short memory which helps him bounce back after a bad play. That really does a good job of summing up 
Bouchel, uh, what we've seen so far, what he has done at the collegiate level, and what he brings to a team. You know, as a quarterback, you have to be, you have to know when to turn on that that gunslinger and, and really drive your team to victory. You know, we've seen it uh, plenty of times in, in the history of the game. You know, those guys that really can go out there and, and sling the ball over the yard intelligently can really become something. The problem we're running into is, is he's kind of the old school pocket passer gunslinger with a little bit of mobility, a little bit. Where nowadays they want guys that are gonna be able to make plays on the ground from the quarterback position just as much as they're making through the air. Uh, and, and that's gonna to be tough for him. He's going to run into situations where he's gonna to have to be smarter than, than some of these guys that can run all over the field. Um, he will have trouble, especially at the next level, as, as complex as defenses are and, and, and the way schemes are, are masked and the way some of these defenders really do a good job of confusing quarterbacks, he's going to have to have receivers that can, that can get open for him in such a way that he doesn't have to, to, to overthink it. Because sometimes you, you saw the anticipation was a, was a little bit off there. Uh, sometimes you saw opportunities that, that just were missed by Bouchelle. So he's a guy I think you can have on your radar as somebody to keep an eye on, see where he goes in the draft, if at all, or if he goes to a team that, that fits his style, that, that kind of West Coast you know, pocket gunslinger style, then you may want to take a flyer on him and just see what happens, especially if you have a deeper taxi squad. Maybe you've got a 10-spot you know, taxi squad and you've got room to stash a guy. He's got the ability to make the throws that he needs to make, and he can do the things he needs to do. Uh, but there are plenty of concerns, and in this class, he's going to have to work his tail off and be better than some of what's in the NFL already to, to get a shot. You know, and, and the interesting thing, and the nice thing for guys like this is that the league is changing. You know, uh, think about all the backup quarterbacks that are that are moving on, and now we're seeing guys you know, like the Mariotas of the world, which were potential stars a couple of years back, but maybe haven't developed the way that some thought, and now they're becoming the backups. He can easily work himself into an NFL job. Now, unfortunately, that doesn't make him a fantasy-relevant uh, player, but there is potential, at least at some level. So keep an eye on him. Let us know in the comments below what you're doing with him. You know, just think about a few years back, he was the hot name. I mean, just three, four, five years back, he was the, he was the guy everybody wanted some pieces of in Devi. Is that still potential? Is there still something you want out of him and, and think you can get? Let us know in the comments below. As always, we love you guys. We appreciate everything you do. Check out Rookie Draft Guide and RotoHeat.com. We'll talk to you again soon.